What's good, gang? We back, man. As y'all can see, we are down $927, man. They hit me. I'm down 24% on this contract right here. I'm not tripping, though. I got it till February 19th, 2021. So I'm down $537 for the day. I think I ended off down $385 yesterday. So that's just a part of the game, man. So you win some trades, you lose some trades. Sometimes you're wrong. You're not going to be right every single time. Not a trader on earth is right every single time. So those times that you're wrong, you know, just understand that's a part of it. But don't make a rash decision. If you felt in your gut that this was the way that it was going to go and you had your reasons, you looked at the charts, you did your math, then hang in there. Especially if you got it for long enough. A lot of people make the mistake of buying these weeklies. They get them that expires the next Friday or that Friday. And that's when you get in trouble because you that pressure is put on you now. See, I'm down $917. The price is at $491 a share. But I only lose about $30 a day on Wait, no, 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 no. I only lose about $35 a day. So... My theta is $35. I gain $30. Every dollar it goes up, I get $30. Every day I keep it, I lose $35. So because we already hit 508, I believe, you know, we already head into 550, 600 territory. So I definitely believe it'll do that before this time because uh, December 21st, it'll be added to the S&P 500. And because of that, a lot of other indices or funds will have to add Tesla uh, to their portfolios as well. So that's going to, uh, they said it should, it, overall, a total of like 52 billion in shares have to be bought by, uh, uh, I think the S&P 500, and then another 8 billion in shares will be picked up from smaller funds. But uh, I'm going to update y'all, let y'all know when we sell it. Matter of fact, let me show y'all the charts real quick. So, yeah, man, it just did me bogus. So, I bought in yesterday around... So I think I bought in around like this. So it was going, as you can see, it was moving up, moving up, moving up, moving up, moving up. And I think I jumped in. I think I jumped in somewhere right as this began to dip. I thought it was going to do a little dip and keep going. You see, uh, wait, no, 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 no. Where was I? Okay, yeah, that is right. That is where I bought in at. So I thought it was going to dip and just keep going. I thought it was going to break out of this. You see the, uh, you see my uh, my lines I got in here, my, my uh, support here and my uh, resistance. I thought it would, was going to stay up and move up around here. You see and end off around this 420, 423 mark right here. So that's what I was banking on. I still feel I got a chance that it'll go there. I just got to hold it a little longer now. So let's just see where we at. Okay, so we doing a little bit better. We down 887 instead of 927. So I'm gonna update y'all and check back in with y'all once uh this is uh done. Check the uh group. I'm gonna drop my link for you. Your first free stock. If you haven't got that yet, make sure you get your first free stock with Robinhood. I'll be back.